A great weekend of basketball just gone by. How great is it to see the team to continue battle this late on in the season? It's good, you know, we, we've always had it in us, but you know, we played to a very high level this weekend, both uh, you know, mentally and physically. I thought we, we executed very well, we executed the game plan, uh, we shared the ball and we got everybody involved. So uh, you know, I was delighted with the games this weekend. And how tense was that final buzzer beater shot on Saturday night? It's tense. Any game like that where it comes down to the last shot of the game, you know, it's going to be, uh, going to be tense regardless of which end you're going to be on. So, you know, it's a great shot by uh, Don Tengen, but actually, overall, it's a great team performance to just keep believing, sticking with the game plan and just crawling our way back into it. So, uh, you know, really delighted with that success. Yeah. And a good feeling to beat your old team on Sunday and then pick up an important two points? As I keep saying, old team or not, I mean, all I was concerned about was just putting two more points on the board, really. And uh, and again, I thought we played exceptionally well. Um, you know, the game plan worked in, in slowing them down in transition. You know, we rebounded the ball very well. And, and offensively, we got, again, we got you know four or five guys involved in the scoring, which makes life a lot easier for us. And what has started to work so well in the team to keep that consistency going through these last three games? Well, it's just, it's just been a bit more pointed in practice. We've sort of pared things back a little bit and we started to sort of, uh, you know, be a bit more pointed in what we wanted from each player, really. And uh, I think the key thing was just playing within ourselves, making sure that we had those. It, it wasn't just the usual three players who were performing. We needed other guys to step up and do their job as well. And, and that's what happened last weekend. You know, Jonas had a good game, both both with both games, as, as they do know. So, um, you know, when that happens, all of a sudden we become a tougher team to start. And London Lions tomorrow night in a rare midweek game. Currently 1-1. A winnable game, do you think? I think all games are winnable, and, and, and London know that as well, because, you know, we've seen this year, if you don't show up ready to play, you can get beat. So, um, you know, it's a tough game. As I say, it's 1-1. It's um, we feel we've got a game plan that we can probably take them out of their rhythm a little bit, and hopefully if we can do that and continue to shoot the ball well, keep putting points on the board, um, we can give them that, you know, we can give them a hard time tomorrow. So we're uh, really looking forward to it. And Zach Wells has returned to training this week. Can we expect to see him tomorrow night? Um, very limitedly, if, if at all. So, uh, you know, we say so we're in a little bit of rhythm right now with, with what we've got. Um, adding another guy to a rotation like Zach, you know, we, we'll see. So uh, I think he probably needs another week of tra uh, training um, before we see him back on the floor. And with only three games left now, do you think you've put yourself in a very good position to get that playoff spot? Well, we're giving ourselves a chance for sure. You know, winning those two games at the weekend was, was fantastic. Three games left. Um, you know, and we're going to try and win all three. And, and if we do that, yes, we're in the playoffs. So that's all we can do. Just try and win the next game.